this is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl. Also, a very warm welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, I can't tell you how exciting it is to get that notification that somebody uh, has subscribed to my channel. So, um, really, you know, each and every one of you is, is really Im important to me. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, basically, a warm welcome to all of you. I hope you're all having a really good day. Uh, I'm a bit tired and when I when I'm tired uh, I tend to oh my brain finds it sometimes a little bit difficult to find all the words it needs so um, please bear with me but I really wanted to catch up with you I've been planning on doing something for so long so I thought I'll just do a what I've been up to video um, because I really need to um, yeah, I uh, really need to film, uh, carry on filming for uh, a Skillshare class, but I don't think my brain is up to it um, today. So I might do some editing, but um, I thought I'd get into things by just having a chat with you. So as you can see here, um, I've been having a go at some, well, kind of like jelly mats, printing but without the jelly pad or mat I can't even remember what it's called now and that's because um, at my last uh, workshop we got talking about uh, image transfers using a jelly mat um, and that got me so interested that I started uh, looking it up on YouTube and um, then because obviously I wanted to have a go straight away but without having a proper mat, I had to try and find something, what I could do. So I just had to go anyway. So I tried, the first thing I tried was just to use some acetate. And that was just um, the cover of a uh, wall um, calendar. And I think I was really lucky that my first um, result actually worked quite well. I hope you can see this. Uh, it's just an advert from uh, from a magazine, and uh, you, you can hardly see the original image because I tried it again um, just to see if I could get maybe a second image from it. But I thought that worked quite well. But then afterwards, things just didn't work that well. Hang on, I can show you. I had kind of lots of lots of just uh, one moment. Lots of things that just look look like you know just like this, and I think you can kind of just see an outline. I think one of the problems was that I was using too much acrylic paint. I think, um, and then also uh, I think you you know you really need a proper jelly mat to to do these things. Um, so I'm I'm now very tempted to making one because because they're not that cheap and um, I don't really want to pay all that money and then maybe not use it all that much and I quite like the idea of um, making one. I mean I'm going to use all of these and as, as backgrounds and stuff um, but yeah as you can see it didn't, didn't really work out the way I wanted it to work. You can just see this is just a faint outline um, yeah, there you can see a bit more. Uh, that is, one second, this is this image and you can only just see something. So every, then I was trying to um, play around with whether the different colours work better. I've also got two different makes of acrylic paints, so I felt that one worked better than the other. But then what I really um, liked was what um, the acrylic paint did to the original picture so I got quite excited about that and um, got you know I've got a few more I've been trying I quite like this I've been trying to uh, use different images and different magazines um, so yeah that's this one it's kind of like a very faint image and this came from because then the next thing I tried was use a foam mat hang on I've got it right here just a very simple foam mat because I've seen that in in some YouTube tutorials as well and I had one and 
and I think that gave it a slightly better result and also not using too much uh, of the pain so that worked this kind of worked quite well but again some worked and some didn't um, there I don't know where the original from this one is but I thought that that was quite that looked quite good um, but yes, I really like what uh, the, you know, the original images, what it does to them, so I thought I really want to use them for something. Have a quick look. There. I really like this one. Um, and, I, I, and this one. As you can see, it, it does take a lot of the... Um, kind of the, the ink out of the, the page and just alters it completely so I find that is really cool and this would also be a really really great uh, background for something um, then I really like this because I mean you can still see the original image but it's it's different and I would really like to start playing around with this one do something and here and this one yeah, and this is another one I really like, and then I just um, started adding some more acrylic paint um, and playing around with this one. Um, but And I've also started, or I've also had a go, I'm going to have a go at using one of the, the, the backgrounds and combining them with something else. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Oh, here are two more that I really like. Um, again, here I used the black um, acrylic paint and then I um, tried to do a print and it didn't work but then I just uh, used some blue acrylic paint um, to cover the kind of like the white areas and I, qu I quite like this so yes yeah, so I think I would really like to carry on uh, with the um, jelly mat print making but I think I need a jelly mat first so I need to get all the all the stuff I need and then have a go and then I'll update you. And now the other thing I've been working on are a new cold time coffee bag uh, journals. I've got tons of these bags because one of our local um, yeah, delicatessen um, coffee shops, um, they use cold turn coffee and so they've got i've asked them if they could keep the mt bags for me i'll just let me let me just grab one so this is what they what they look like and i've made one journal already i should have remembered to bring it but I'll, i can link um a video but when i first started playing around with trying to make uh, a traveler's notebook using uh, a cold turn coffee roasters bag I kind of filmed the process so it's not really a tutorial but more like a let's see if this works but you could I suppose use it as a tutorial but I link it uh, put the link below this video so you can have a look if you would like to um, so yeah I finally had some time to start working on on the covers so I've just done kind of the same thing I've got some um, it's just a craft paper on the inside and then I quite like to just sew, do some sewing firstly because it's really tricky to just glue uh, something onto the back of the um, bag because it's it's this really smooth kind of plastic surface and I'm sure there's glue out there that will work but I haven't got it so I'm using a little bit of glue just to make it stick to the craft paper and then I get the sewing machine and I also find that it works quite well because um, it, I kind of feel it it makes it maybe look a bit like you know coffee bags and um, they might have been sewn up like you know made from hessian and at the same time I wanted it to look like as if you know if you've had a pen and you were just um, doodling on the cover uh, so yes, I've been doing that. I've been playing with different formats. And this one I got some of the sewing wrong because I forgot to, uh, when I had the flaps, obviously I have to 
do all that bit of sewing before I um, sew the flaps um, but even though I didn't sew the flaps hadn't been sewn uh, in yet but I forgot to kind of fold them out when I was sewing this so I think I'll probably keep this one for myself which is fine so that's a bigger one where I just um, wanted to play with kind of different format and see what um, I can make from the bags and then uh, I'll I've also started sort of getting some papers ready for these so I've got quite a few of those and then I was just thinking uh, what about ordinary coffee bags and could I use those somehow um, so I thought I could just as well you know have a go and experiment a little bit so I've done the same thing but um, this time because obviously with the cold time um, bags I really like them because they've got a really beautiful design whereas most normal coffee bags are a bit boring so I uh, did the reverse okay, so this is obviously the inside of, of the bag and so I've glued it on um, so that the outside design is glued to the craft paper and then I thought I wanted to embellish the front just use this as a background and that I just have to find it that's where I had an idea of how I could use some uh, packing tape transfers I've got it's probably quite tricky to see them all um, So I've got tons of um, packing tape transfers. I went through a phase where I could do nothing but just try out different designs and newspapers and I just made loads of them. And it would be nice to actually use some of them. I mean, I have been using some of them, but I've still got loads that are just, you know, I'm, I'm just storing. So I was going to try something which is so this is one of the transfers i did and as you can see i put it onto one of the um magazine pages that i've tried to you know where i've tried to get a uh a jelly print print from and um so i thought how about if i use that as a as a background and then i could stick the packing tape transfer on it then I'm going to cut it out and have that as an image on the front of my let's just call that a boring coffee bag um, and then probably have something on the back as well so that's an experiment and I thought maybe we could carry on working on this um, so oh yeah, well, oh yeah quickly what I wanted to just was there something else I wanted to show you oh this is this is one um, kind of a one of the coffee bags where I've just started um, the sewing so I uh, glue the cardstock kind of on onto the inside and then you know I get uh, kind of some flaps I fold it over and then sew along there and this is in the middle of being created but then I ran out of thread um, talking about thread because obviously I need to do some sewing with this one as well and I've actually already I've chosen some thread for this one only I could find it I had it here earlier because I didn't want to use black uh, but a different color and because all of these are blues I wanted to look for a blue that would work with this and also I would have to just to make sure that the plastic is going to stick on the um, on the paper I wanted to do some kind of like some some sewing I don't know some kind of not patterns but just some 
sewing around obviously around the image just to make sure basically just to keep keep these two layers together so that's the the idea oh there we go i think i found it one second there so i thought i'll use this thread i thought that worked quite nicely and would also look quite nice on this background and then oh yeah i can just quickly show you something else i'm kind of planning on doing I've got um, I've got loads of offcuts, and this is part of a whole huge bag of offcuts I got. I think a couple of years back, they were all organic cotton fabric offcuts, and um, so these are some of them. But as you can see, uh, they've got uh, oh, I can't even think of the word. I don't know. I'm not. I, words won't come to my brain today so it's one of those it'll come later you know one of those uh, materials you can glue to the back of or iron to the back of the fabric to make it a bit stiffer and this is already kind of coming off uh, but I think I'll just leave it on there just to um, oh hang on I haven't even told you what I'm going to do with it so anyway this is how it came I didn't really know what to do with this so it's just been sitting there and I've got quite a few of these actually this um, I already cut this bit off so this is what it came it came like that and I really like the color um, but yeah as I said I wasn't quite sure what to do with this so I was thinking how about um, creating a fabric journal cover and using partly kind of like going with the shape that I've got here so I hope I'm going to make sense so I'm going to use this bit first and then the idea was I'm going to make it a little bit shorter so if I had uh, let me see I should probably have something like a an oh let's okay it won't be it won't be this big let's say if, if this was a shorter uh, no, let, let's just say this is a text block for uh, the notebook. So then this would be the cover, and then I could kind of fold this over, and that, and I quite like the idea of just kind of like playing with the um, the shape I've already got um, because it's it's an offcut, and then kind of having this like folded over, and then probably have a ribbon or something so you can tie it around so that's something else I want to play with and I might be doing a video with this one um, where I just kind of play around with this idea and I'm going to film it and then um, edit it and upload it so you can see um, what I'm doing because I also quite like to just share things you know when when you don't really know where something is going to go but you just experiment with something um because i find it's really important to sometimes just um play around with something and to see how how things work and also to see that n things don't always work but for example like the jelly prints they didn't work but i came but you know but i created all these backgrounds that i really like and I wouldn't have thought that we'd get those backgrounds. Um, yeah, so basically just to encourage you to, to carry on creating and not get frustrated if something doesn't work and just to, you know, experiment and play around with things. Okay. So, okay. Um, if you're still watching, well done. That's really good. I'm wondering if... Do you know what I'll, I'm, I'm going to do? I might stop here and finish this video because otherwise this one is going to go on forever and then start a new one where I'm going to start playing with this idea and see if, if we can create a notebook cover um, you know, with these components. How about that? I think that might be an idea. So, okay, so let's keep this as a what I've been up to video and um, I'll stop this and then I'll start a new one with just this notebook. Okay, I hope, I hope it 
well that wasn't too confusing um <laughs> for this update and um i hope you have a fantastic day and if you want to see you know what's happening next yeah i'll, I'll also link that video to this video if it's already ready but it could be that you know this one will be easier to edit and it's already done and obviously I haven't done this one but as soon as I've got a link for, for the next video I'll link it did that make sense I hope so um, now you can probably see what, what I'm struggling with with my brain today so thank you very much for staying uh, with me up till now, have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.